Okay, so, oh shit, um, that was unexpected, that was, nah, that was expected, but some things are unexpected, like Chase Elliott winning, that was kind of expected, other than the few things that happened, it was a pretty boring race, I mean, like, it seems like Watkins Glen has just been boring, the last few years. I don't care what people say. Like, yeah, there's been, like, good battles. But, like... I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Like, Walking the Glen is a track that was known for the crazy wrecks and everything. And it's, like... At most tracks, I'm, like, I'm fine without wrecks as long as the racing is good. But, like, here it's just, like... The one place I'm just asking for a crazy day of wreck fests. That's all. I, that's all I want. Like, cause we don't get those too often anymore. Like, we get them at Daytona. We get them at Talladega. Sometimes we don't even usually get them at Talladega anymore. But like, I'm just asking. Just this one one track. Just this one track. That'd be a crazy wreck fest. That's all I want. Too much to ask for apparently. Um. But anyway, um, Kyle Busch just became everybody's, like, least favorite driver, even though he already was. But, uh, I don't even know, like, exactly what happened. Well, I know that, uh, there was an issue with William Byron on, like, lap three, uh, which wasn't William Byron's fault. It was Kyle Busch who was trying to, like, go through the inside, and, um, he fucking, like, didn't do it correctly, and then spun around, um, so it wasn't William Byron's fault, but then, apparently, uh, something happened, Byron came and hit Kyle Busch in the back, now, that's what I saw, but apparently something else, I, I get the argument that Kyle Busch brake checked him, but I don't, I don't know if that happened. I, it was both of them, really. Like, William Byron was coming after him, and Kyle Busch brake checked him. So, like, it was it was both of the drivers. I don't know. I think something else might have happened, but I don't really know. Like, I don't know what else happened. But, like, because everybody seemed to be really mad at Kyle Busch for that. Not sure why. Not, not sure why. Not sure why everybody was mad at Kyle Busch for that when William Byron was the one who did it. Like, that's, that's, that I'm, I'm actually confused. Unless if there was something else that happened that I missed, which I don't foresee because I watched the entire race, but, um, I might've been looking at my phone when, when something else happened, but, um, because Canals was like, did the 18 just hit us? So he might've like hit him on like some other lap, but I don't, I don't think that happened. I don't know. I, I, I didn't see it at least. So if something if something else did happen besides that incident, like let me know because I didn't see it. And then apparently later on, Bubba Wallace and Kyle Busch were racing. Uh, they were beating and banging down the front stretch, and Bubba just fucking wrecked Kyle Busch. Um, for literally no reason besides the fact that they were racing that hard. <laughs> like it was bubble that was entirely bubble wallace right there and like i get, like i said unless there was something i didn't see from what i've seen it was bubble wallace ran kyle bush down the track and then he wrecked kyle bush didn't end kyle bush's day kyle bush still finished like 13th but bubba's kind of an idiot for that i'm not mad at either byron or bubba i mean it's just they're pissed so um, and it didn't end Kyle Busch. If it ended their day, and it was somebody else more hateable, then I, I would hate them. But I couldn't hate Bubba, I couldn't hate Byron, for any reason. Uh, yeah, there's not really a reason to hate them. I mean, they didn't really, they were just being stupid. That's really it. Um, and, and plus, Byron didn't even... Like, Byron 
like misbenefited from that incident. So I couldn't be mad for, at Byron for doing nothing to Kyle Bush. Like like he did it, but like he didn't really have any consequences for it. Kyle Bush did not have any consequences from that incident, so um yeah. But there was front damage on the nose of Kyle Bush's car. So maybe he did hit Byron. I don't know. Maybe he hit him like after Byron hit him because I don't think that damage was there in the like when when Byron hit him. So in that case, that's perfectly even. That's them getting even. So, but I didn't. I, I'm confused about why Byron was mad. <laughs> but I I don't know. I. <laughs> Because I didn't see... I must have missed something. But I don't know. I don't know. I love how I just naturally missed everything that Kyle Bush did wrong. If he even did anything wrong. <laughs> just so I can come on here and say, I, I don't know. What did you do? I didn't see anything. I, I actually didn't see anything, though. So I don't, I don't know. Did he actually do anything? I don't know. Um... Johnson and Blaney, they had their their ordeals. Yeah. Uh, Blaney, I think, just spun out Johnson. I think that just happened. I love how, like, drivers just today were like, yeah, we can just intentionally wreck other people. And NASCAR was just fine with it, too. I wish it would happen more often. Like, like um, intentionally wrecking other people. Because that brings temper out, and I like... That's what made NASCAR so exciting back in the day, and now it just doesn't really happen much anymore, where drivers get, you know, so heated. It needs to happen more often. I, I'm serious. Yeah, I just farted and talked over it to act like I didn't do it. Um, yeah, I, I miss I miss heated tempers. I miss fights. I miss I miss the days where it's just people weren't like afraid of their look like of how that makes them look i i mean kyle bush isn't afraid of that i know that but like i miss the days when drivers would just do whatever they wanted and spoke their minds and went up and punched somebody in the face and didn't didn't have to worry about like fans on social media being assholes or you know they might they might have gotten penalties or suspensions for it but when they weren't really worried about that either. I knew, or yeah, I mean, I don't really think NASCAR would do anything. I, I don't like they might find them. That's what they've always done is just find them, which isn't even a big deal because they're rich enough already. But yeah, I miss those days. And after the race, there was like no fights whatsoever. It's like ten minutes after the race, too. So. Or I started this video like 10 minutes after the race, so it's like 20 minutes after the race right now. But yeah, there was no fights. Kind of sucks. Just wish we could see that. Or what I'd love is to see like an, like a, like an issue that went under the radar. <laughs> and just two random drivers that you didn't even know had beef. They just start fighting each other. Like, the Marco Sambros and Casey Mears incident. Like, you didn't even know they had issues on the, on the track, and then they just started fighting. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. Um, but yeah, we need more fights. We need more NASCAR fights, because they don't happen much anymore. And if they do, it's because it's somebody has their helmet on, and they go up to the car and throw a few punches, and then they talk it out. It's not, not fun. It's not, it's not fun that way. It's not fun that way. Um, but yeah, Chase Elliott won. That was cool. I mean, I don't care. I don't fucking care. <laughs> I like Chase Elliott. Um, I was kind of hoping that Truex would make it more exciting at the end. Like, yeah, it was a good battle, but like... Talking like actually exciting where they make contact like they did in that one restart like that was that was awesome. Um, shut the fuck up. 
I'm serious. I'll fucking go up there and slaughter both of those dogs. <laughs> um. Yeah, that was fun on that restart. I kind of wish that happened towards the end. Or on a lot of those, or a lot of those situations where they spun out, where guys spun out, I wish that they pulled the caution for that so we could have more restarts because the restarts are fun. The restarts were the, like the greatest part of today's race. Um, it was. But uh, it seems like Watkins Glen. There hasn't been like a really good race at Watkins Glen since twenty sixteen. So it feels like every year since then, it's been getting progressively better. But only by a little bit. Like, 2017 was the worst Watkins Glen race I've ever seen. Probably actually ever. 2015 sucked, too. 2014 was the last, like, amazing race. Um, Well, that was the best Watkins Glen race ever, in my opinion. 2016 was amazing. 2017 sucked ass. 2018 was... Still sucked ass, but the finish was good, so I'll, I'll allow it. And then 20, 2019, like, that was good. It was a good race. But, like, like it still is, like, I just miss the old Watkins Glen racing. I really do. I don't know why they had to repave it. I don't, I doubt that has anything to do with it, but, like, come on. <laughs> Repaving a road course? Who the fuck are, who the fuck you think I am? I think they did that in 2015, though. Yeah, they did that in 2015, so it doesn't even matter. Um, um, but yeah, to, I'll write today's race, say... Hmm. 7.9. 7.9 out of 10. I'll give it that. I'll give it a 7.9 out of 10. Yeah, uh, Xfinity race, I didn't really even pay attention to that. I watched some of it. Uh, the Justin Allgaier incident in Ross Chastain. At first, I was really mad at Justin Allgaier. I was like, fuck you, Justin Allgaier. But, like, I kind of see where he was coming from. Like, Ross Chastain, I don't think Ross Chastain did anything, like, wrong. I don't think he did it intentionally. But at the same time, I think, I see how you could think that. So, Allgaier getting back at him, that was, that was fair. <clears throat> um... Yeah, and he didn't, like, do it too badly either. It wasn't like a Ron Hornaday incident where Kyle Busch just fucking ran him down the track for, like, half a lap and then fucking put him in the wall at, like, 190 miles an hour. No, it wasn't like that. It was just a slight a slight little tap for a few seconds, and then uh, he went into the tire barrier. So, yeah, I was really mad at all guy for a second, but then I realized, like, well, I could see I could see his frustration and I could see how he thought it was intentional. So Like I said, I don't think the issue was intentional, but I could see how you think that. Um and then Syndic. Syndic won the race. That's fucking great. That's just lovely. Like that didn't need to happen. Fuck Austin Syndic. I'm still salty about Texas last year. I don't even remember what happened, I just know that I was pissed. I don't remember exactly what happened that made me so pissed off, but I just remember that I was really pissed off at him. So I'm still holding that same grudge. Um, oh, yeah, he did something to Christopher Bell. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, I think he wrecked Christopher Bell. So. Um, but, yeah, and then Almondinger got disqualified his second place finish was taken away so yeah i just really hope that doesn't start happening in the cup series like i hope that's enough of like a hey maybe don't do this maybe don't fucking get your wins taken away because like they would used to take away points but now they're taking away wins i kind of like i just if i go to a race i don't want you know to be sitting in traffic like an hour later and then pull, pull up on my phone that somebody else won. That's just, that bothers me. I, I don't like the idea that somebody else, like even if you cheat, like I know, yeah, like take away the points. Take away the points. I don't fucking care. Take away the points. 
But it's just like, really, bro, don't take away the win. Don't take away the win. I'd just be weird. That'd be really weird, and it'd be, like, really confusing to try to explain that to, like, a casual fan. So. Yeah. Um, but second place finish, it doesn't matter. You can take away that. I don't fucking care. <laughs> that doesn't bother me. So, uh, I didn't really even watch much of the extended race. I give it a rating, so I don't even know. I didn't watch the end of the race. I watched, like, up until, like, 20 to go. And then I stopped watching. Uh, truck race. That was, that was, that sucked, too. That race also sucked. Like, Eldora has always been fun, but not this year. Not this year. Um, it was Chase Briscoe who led, like, every lap, and then, uh, until, like, halfway, and then, from that point, Stuart Friesen led every lap. So, that's fun, competitive dirt racing. Fucking lovely. And then there was, like, so few little wrecks that happened. Uh, but there was that one big wreck that was cool. Um, but Ross Chastain was involved, so that wasn't even... That fucking sucked. Um, anyway... Yeah, Stuart Friesen won that race. See, I've liked seeing Stuart Friesen not win. Like... <laughs> I like Stuart Friesen, don't get me wrong, but it's just been entertaining to see him, like, come so close and then just keep getting heartbroken. I know it's kind of a dick a dick move, but... And it's not like that with most drivers. When Chase Elliott had his big, long streak of, like, not getting his first win, I kept being so frustrated. Same with Alex Bowman. Like, I kept being so frustrated. But for Stuart Friesen, there was something different about it where it's like, you know, this is kind of funny. <laughs> so, um... It's been, like, two years now, right? Yeah, I think so. So, uh, he finally got his first win. That's cool. And, uh, yeah. But, so I guess that's over with. That fun little thing to watch. Him failing. But, yeah. Um, I watched that race. I'll give it a 5.5 out of 10. Yeah, I'll give it a 5.5 out of 10. I think it's a fair rating. Because it wasn't really that good. But yeah. Alright guys. That's going to be it. Um, peace.